Today we have um, Le Ping back here with us and she's the publisher of this magazine called Kid Feel Living and we have a couple of questions for her that we're going to discuss. So my first question for you would be, so it's, a, it's been about two years now since you have bought this company and we heard that when, when you first take over this company, the circulation of this magazine is isn't, not that, doing that well. So like, why did you buy it? Like, did you see a potential in it? Uh, yeah, this, um, this magazine, the, um, it, it covered actually it was uh, the idea was very good you know was trying to reach the whole region we we live in Wilmington um, the Cape Fear run through is a very very beautiful area um, so it, it the whole area is called Cape Fear right so it covers all the three counties that's where um, it's, it's a great place um, the idea was not bad is it's try to cover the the uh, what people are doing there the lifestyle of the people over there. So I, I saw the potential and um, also I was um, thinking about doing something else. And I, I was trying to get out of the lawyer business too. Right. So, and when this opportunity presented itself, um, I was thinking, well, maybe I could try it. And I, but I, I was not that confident. I never did magazine before. So I had a partner um, I thought she she was local. Mm -hmm. She lived there for a long time, mm -hmm. um, and she was very artsy and, and very educated. So mm -hmm. I thought it would be a good fit. So we actually bought the magazine together, uh, but very soon she decided she didn't want to run the magazine anymore. So right. that, and then I had to take over, t <laughs> take okay. it over, and and do it, um, make all those decisions by myself. Right, so can you tell us a little bit more about this magazine, like what is it about, like your target audience? Uh, yeah, we, this magazine, you know, it's like a lifestyle magazine. Um, uh, in America, a lot of uh, places have this kind of local community magazine. That's what it is. We feature people, we feature right. what they do. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's, you know, uh, we have like certain department, you know, every month you can see we have, we have down to the roots, basically it's about the local history. Right. Um, and uh, we have uh, um, a Southern Touch. Right. That's because we're in the South. Okay? Right, that's right. So we want to keep that local flavor. Mm -hmm. um, that's about the, actually it's about kind of the interior design, right. your own living space. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we also have about fashion. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, um, and we have about the community. So we feature things that uh, people do to, to help each other. For example, we have people who, who have, um, uh, called Hope Center to help the homeless right. um, or people who um, just got out of the jail right. to help them to find a second opportunity in life. Right. So we, we do all those things, you know, and then we like like next month, I think we're um, we're going to feature military people right. who serve right. the country, you know, so whatever is going on mm -hmm. at that time. Totally. Yeah, so it's just a typical magazine. Right. Yes. So what do you think like the locals and your audiences like, what are they really interested in that you would put into this magazine? How would you know? Oh, this is something that they really want to see, they right. really want to read about. Yeah. yeah. How do we find the news, mm -hmm. basically? How do we find what yes, we, like we, we want to talk about? Yeah. Um, because I have a, um, I have a team, you know, I have an editor, mm -hmm. I have a um, graphic, you know, uh, art director, she does a graphic design, mm -hmm. and we have uh, marketing people, we have sales, you know, I have, right. I have a um, team of, I think so far we have nine, you know, we have IT support mm -hmm. too. So um, all of us live in that area. Right. So we go out, uh, our sales and marketing people go out a lot, you know, they mm -hmm. network. And the, so they got feedback from the community. So we're, we're directly in touch with the community. We're just not like right. reading something, oh, think, oh, this might be important. Right. I mean, we do find that from social media too. Yes. Um, and the community send us press release. They interact with us too. They send us email, they call us, they would tell us, hey, um, there is an event here. I think it's, it's gonna be very interesting. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. you know, and we, we constantly got calls from uh, people, oh, you know, um, there's somebody, um, I think this is in, uh, so, some event that we, we, I think, you know, is, is going to be really interesting or some historic figures um, that they think, wow, I think, I think this is really going to be a good story for you. Right. You know, so, and we got writers too. We got contributors. Right. We got dozens of contributors, writers, photographers, and they all live there. Right. Okay, so they will tell us stories too that would be interesting. So right. and then we make the decision, we filter. So you're not only like among the four walls, but you actually connect with the community. That's why you know what they want and you can put it on a magazine and people actually see it. Oh yeah, we are, yes. we're part of them. Yeah. yeah. So like my next question for you would be like, where does, where does your funds come from? Like does, is it from ads or like subscribers, sponsors and... Yeah, we, um, w this is a free magazine, right? You know, they can mm -hmm. subscribe, but if yeah. they do, it only covers the cost, you know, right. cost of actually mailing. That's right. about it. Mm -hmm. You know, is there, we're not making profit. Yeah. Um, so the only way we can survive is f from the advertisers. Advertisers. Yes. And how do you find these uh, ads? Like, is it difficult to find? Um, the community, you know, they, mm -hmm. they, it's, it's actually, um, the community need, to get the words out too. If you have a business, you know, right. you need you need to advertise. Right. Because how do yes. you let people know yes. you're there? You open right. the pizza shop. Mm -hmm. How do you, you know, how yeah. do you get people in? There are right. many channels um, to get words out nowadays. Mm -hmm. However, we, um, we keep telling people actually, we're not just a magazine, like a traditional magazine. We're only in print. We are a we are a marketing company, actually, right. you know, mm -hmm. so we have we have social media. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram, Instagram. We do digital marketing yes. and we just developed um, our video product. Yes. So we actually have a tourist channel. Mm -hmm. uh, Wilmington is a tourist town, yes. you know, so mm -hmm. here I'm going to advertise for Wilmington. Go to Wilmington. It's one of the best place in the United States, actually. Right. I haven't visited. World. Yes, yeah, it's maybe beautiful. It's, it's, it's a historic mm -hmm. town. Yeah. It has culture. It's just we have the beach, we have the river. Mm -hmm. You know, so people go there. Right. You know, that's that's um, a big part of the business is tourism. Right. So um, we have a. Well, tourist channel that um, featured in all the major hotels. Mm -hmm. um, so then our magazines are distributed there too. Right. So people see us everywhere actually mm -hmm. right. in the region. Yes. Right. So you were talking about social media as well. So my question for you would be like right now social media is so important like people to kind of like market yes. their uh, company, yes. their businesses, yes. small, big. Yes. So how do you see, how do you view social media and how do you think it's important to your magazine company? Um, I think a magazine alone nowadays, you know, without digital marketing, without social media, is, is almost stupid. <laughs> Nobody does it, okay? So it's with, but people keep thinking, oh, magazine and social media are separate. They're not, okay? Because basically it's a media. Nowadays, every magazine are on social media. But the problem with, okay, some people say, well, why do I need print magazine? I'm online. You know, yes, we're online too. But, but if you, as as a young person, you know, like um, years ago, people start doing. Um, they say, oh, you know, uh, print is dead. Print is dead, right? That's what you heard about mm -hmm. that, and um, they think, well, everybody's going online. Mm -hmm. The problem with that is, you know, it, how 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 much can you handle in your little phone? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I mean, how many apps do you have in your phone? On, I mean, just in, on your phone. Well, I, I don't use a lot of apps. Like I don't have See? games, but only like the necessities, like some. This is, I would say, yeah. nine, nine out of ten a answers are just like yours. Mm -hmm. Because you can only see that, you can only handle that many things. Mm -hmm. And by the end, even the 20-year-old, they have very limited apps on their phone. They don't want the, this, they don't want the cluster of their phone. They only use, say, your bank, right? Mm -hmm. um, the very necessary things you're like using, maybe YouTube. Transportation. You yeah. use YouTube, you Some use social media, Facebook. Yeah, mm -hmm. Facebook, uh, Instagram, that's right. your age group. Mm -hmm. That's your that's thing. Right. Snapchat, that's right. you know, mm -hmm. maybe, right? But you don't have a billion um, apps like, mm -hmm. oh, Starbucks, you have an app, Walmart, you have an app, or this, you have an app that have an app. You know, mm -hmm. you don't mm -hmm. actually. So people still, by the end of the day, I tell you, um, you how many emails you receive by you know telemarketing in you know marketing to you try to buy this buy that. I got tons of them. I never opened them. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, but 
if it's a nice magazine and has nice content about the things I care about. Yes, the locals. Okay. Travel. Yes. Because mm -hmm. after all, I live there, right? I mean, I, I, I do still care about what's going on in this country, you know, what President Trump is doing, yeah. uh, you know, what North Korea is doing. Okay, I do care to an extent. But I want to, it's But my day-to-day -day -day life, okay, yes. is about people here. Okay, it's about what's going on here. I want to know what restaurants are opening. I want to know where to eat, right? I want to know the water quality, right? And I want to know my neighbors, mm -hmm. you know? So that's what people care about. Right. And so this magazine provides that information. Mm -hmm. And it's nice, they pick it up, you know, our paper quality, you see mm -hmm. it's beautiful, okay? Yeah. And you have that, it's, it's, it's a pleasant to, to read that. And so we're very, very popular, actually. Right. Right. And even my, my daughter, she's, she's, no, my older one, she's, she's 18, I have another 14-year-old. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They say, oh, they read my magazine. Wow. Because um, they, they, they watch YouTube. Um, I think that nowadays the digital thing is, is mostly for video, you know, YouTube. Right. They, they watch that. Mm -hmm. But as far as reading, actually, they don't like to read online. Right. They still go to bookstore. They actually like to get that books. Like they the like whole, the feel the of, it. of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. They like to read that magazine because it's different, right? Yes. If you look online, it's a small picture. Mm -hmm. You know, this, you flip through, you can go back and yeah. forth. And it's better and for your eyes, I guess. Yes, <laughs> and it's beautiful, mm -hmm. right? right? So it's a totally different experience. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's not going to be replaced. Right. Gotcha. Yes. So moving on, um, my question for you would be, as a Chinese, what are, are there any challenges you face um, as a publisher of a local Amer American magazine? Yes, like, so, uh, of course. Um, uh, I, you know, I, I faced two challenges when, mm -hmm. when I bought the magazine. Mm -hmm. First of all, uh, English was not my first language. Yes. I mean, I'm pretty good at that. You know, mm -hmm. I've been a lawyer for, for I'm functional for sure. Mm -hmm. But I don't, um, I write, I can write in English, no problem. Mm -hmm. I write legal documents, mm -hmm. you know, as you know, I did mm -hmm. that for 20 years. However, writing literary um, articles and it's, it's just not my forte, you know. Um, I, I can write beautifully in Chinese, mm -hmm. but I, I still feel more comfortable writing in Chinese as right. far as expressing. Yes. Um, so I had no intention to write in English, in English for okay. that kind of thing. You know, right. I write little documents, you know, I do that. that mm -hmm. It's dry, it's straightforward, no problem, mm -hmm. you know, or, or emails, I communicate, no problem. Right. But writing something that has emotion and um, it's beautiful mm -hmm. and um, it's not I, your forte. It, it's not my forte. Mm -hmm. I, I don't do that. Gotcha. So I know I need an editor, but you know that I need an editor, yeah. but I, I can I read it well. I can mm -hmm. always tell what is good. You know, mm -hmm. I have very good taste. Mm -hmm. I, I major in, lit, in English literature, actually, right. mm -hmm. for my um, undergraduate degree. Right. Mm -hmm. So that actually transfer to, so I, mm -hmm. I can tell what's good writing, mm -hmm. for sure. Right. You know, and what's good content. Yes. So that helped. Uh, but another challenge, of course, that's being a Chinese. Another challenge I was facing was um, I was a newcomer, you know. I actually moved to Wilmington four years ago in okay. 2013. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's four years, right? So when you're new, I mean, I had no clue who What's was who. Right. Yeah, it's just a new place that yeah. you have to learn to adapt to. Right, right. yeah. So so I bought this magazine in 2016, mm -hmm. or beginning of 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, that was my first issue. So it's, it's less, less than two years. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that's like, oh, wow, not being local, mm -hmm. you know, marketing is hard. Right. You know, because people lived there for 20 years now, they knew each other, yeah. they knew who's who. It, that yeah. always helped to sell. Right. You know, okay. and I didn't have that advantage. Mm -hmm. So I had it, um, but, you know, I, um, I ran business mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I ran my law office, I had staff, and uh, I was successful. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I felt like, well, that knowledge can transfer. Team is a team, you know. Right. Um, I, I, I believe in teamwork. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't th see the problem with this magazine before was I saw the problem was it, it was almost like a one man band. Mm -hmm. gotcha. You know, um, there wasn't a team of people working together. Right. He got, he got an editor, he got a part time graphic designer, mm -hmm. and that was it. Then he was doing the selling, he was doing everything on his right. own. So that was hard. Mm -hmm. You know, and I just didn't think in modern nowadays that would 
make you make you competitive. Mm -hmm. You know, in order to make this magazine competitive, I know I need the good people. I need good people to work. Yes. I need talent. Mm -hmm. So it took me a while to to, yes. to get the right people. It, it, I had turnovers. You know, mm -hmm. when you first get something, when you get first get a group of people, you yeah. not you know it's not going to be like everybody is going right. to work out. It's and just, slowly, just nature as, of business. As time passes, you just become better and you yes. work better yes. together. Yes, yeah, I got I got great editor. I got mm -hmm. great um, graphic designer. I got a good sales team now. Right. So yeah, it took a while for so sure. That worked. It was not that easy. <laughs> yes, right. So like we know that you're a publisher of this magazine, but you're also a host on. Um, Mingjing Xinwen, our company. Right. So like you are targeting two different audience, American audience and yes. the Chinese audience. So what do you feel like the differences you have to bring to the table for this? Oh two my god, that's you know, the Chinese like, and the Americans, that's like two different worlds. Right. They they I don't see any cr crossover actually mm -hmm. for now. You know, it is it's totally different. Um, the Chinese audience I mean, we're doing this actually. Um, probably it's a it's a long shot. Um, we're not really like seeking immediate marketing opportunity. Even you know, it was kind of fun thing for us to do. Um, and I have um, you know, as you know, I have two partners, uh, Eric and Sue. Um, we we got together. Actually, this is not a, just a business project, you know, mm -hmm. the Western Review, mm -hmm. um, the TV show. We were kind of a little bit, um, uh, maybe it's, a, a ideal, it's for a certain ideology and for concern that we have mm -hmm. for, for America, mm -hmm. you know. Right. It's not for, for Chinese or, or China, right. because we're all Americans, you know, yes. we're, we have vested interests. Mm -hmm in America and um, we saw that what's going on right now mm -hmm. uh, Americans uh, Americans are so divided mm -hmm. and um, we 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 both we all felt that we were going heading the wrong direction and um, and we were just doing this as like regular citizens you know to it's almost like a civic duty kind of mm -hmm. thing you know but it was fun for mm -hmm. us yeah. Right. So that's totally different thing mm -hmm. from the magazine. But you are balancing this the best of yes. both worlds. But however, you know, I see the um, you can see the 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 whole uh, if if we have certain goal that's in common is about serving serving the community, serving America. We we do want America to be a great country, and we want our community to. To be nice, and mm -hmm. and we do. You know, we have we have nice country. We ha we have the best country in the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, I live in the best place in the world. You know, and we want to keep it that way. Right. You know, so I think I think that's part of it. And you know, uh, having fun with it and also make a living out of it. That's of course is a is a very uh, satisfying job for me. Right, gotcha. So my final question for you would be back to the magazine. I read through a little and I saw that the theme for this month is called New Beginnings. So like, yes. can you tell us a little like the reason behind this, like this idea? Oh, the themes, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, that those are, I have to give credit for to my uh, editor mm -hmm. and my, my whole team mm -hmm. and my graphic designer. They came mm -hmm. up with the certain themes. They said, well, it would be good for marketing purpose and all the, also for the readers to have some kind of focus. So just something new every month, you know. So they have themes they set for every month. Um, so this September, um, they were thinking, well, um, actually, because October, you know, October is uh, October, September is usually for Americans is wedding planning season, right. uh -huh. you know. Yes, yes. So they were thinking, okay, well, and also what's going on in our town? We got new restaurants open. This marina is very new. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and they were thinking, well, you know, maybe we'll just call it New Beginnings. And then school start, you know. So um, let's just call it New Beginnings. And we feature a couple, uh, almost look like uh, they are, um, <laughs> it, it not exactly, it's, it's like looking engaging. Forward, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. But it seems like they have a set rela steady mm -hmm. relationship, right? right? Maybe mm -hmm. they're engaged. Actually, mm -hmm. they were. They were okay. they, oh, really? Yeah, they were actually wow. engaged. Yeah, uh -huh. so it was like, okay, they're a perfect couple. Uh -huh. And they're heading to a new beginning, right? right? Gotcha. Um, seems like the, it. Yes. Now, yes. That, you so, now yes, that you are saying that, like, okay. If you want to show the, our, our, um, <laughs> yes. our audience, you see, like, that's like they're heading toward new beginning right. in, the, mm -hmm. in a brand new place. Mm -hmm. So, um, so that's that's how we 
come up with this idea. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like that's all we have for today. Thank you so much again for being on our show. Oh, you're welcome. It's my and, pleasure. Yes. And remember, you can get the September issue of Cape Fear Living at every most places in Wilmington, North Carolina. Till next time, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.